good morning and welcome to the first official official vlog for vlogmas week this is the first vlog that i'm doing where i'm vlogging the entire week last night actually while i was laying in bed i was kind of thinking and i was like i wish i would have just stuck to doing daily vlogs because i like the like hype and the idea of like the idea of vlogging the entire day and then like oh my gosh i gotta edit this put it up and then everybody's excited and it's just like a little youtube tradition you know but i already told you guys it's gonna do it weekly so we're just gonna stick to that but today is actually monday december 2nd and as you guys saw i woke up this morning i made myself my iced coffee and i got straight to work i had a phone meeting this morning with my manager my new manager actually answering a few emails just getting stuff done and starting the week off right i have a lot of content that i am pushing out this week so i know this week is definitely going to be on the busy side we also have our little heater going in here we have two wall heaters but i don't know how to turn them on i have tr like we were trying to figure out how to turn them on but i have to call and ask we're supposed to be getting our couch hopefully this week um i have a lot of packages coming in with like little furniture pieces i have clothing items stuff from black friday shopping cyber monday shopping amazon packages like it's a lot of stuff that's coming in this week so it's gonna be busy and then i'm also gonna start cleaning right now because i want to start off the week with a clean space and i want to start vlogmas with a clean space that way i don't have to worry about cleaning in here throughout the week. You swept, I'm mopping. You cleaning the crevices of the <laughs> dishwasher and stuff like I sweep. I mean, you sweep, I mop. I'm just doing the bed because I was in here. You said do something, shit. Hey. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Don't be throwing your socks. Come here. Yeah. Those are dirty clothes. Mm -hmm. So you throwing <laughs> dirty socks at me. Now you need them. Mm -hmm. Stop in your bed. Well, I tell on you. And what we eating? Babe. Hot. Huh? Hot. Huh? Hot. Gotta, gotta. Gotta get this. Gotta get this stuff out of you. Babe, I don't want my shit chopped. I don't want my chopped. I don't want my. No. You better stop chopping it. Who does that? Where you get that from? Who told you to do that? Everybody does. No, that. baby. <laughs> people. Just, you go to the IKEA and the places. You know, that should be just like this. No. Maybe just like that. It looks See? more like fluffy like this. We left the house, I showered, everything is clean, and we're pulling up to Chili's because we haven't ate anything. And we feel like having that. The last time we vlogged together, we had Chili's too. Did we? Yeah, when we were going to look at the couches, we had Chili's. Oh, they're about to see me get the same thing I got last time. Yeah, the fajitas. Literally the same thing from that vlog, that's what we're gonna get. We're about to eat a lot too. No, I didn't. And she 
shut up. So I got this chicken enchilada soup, the fajitas, corn on the cob, and he got the same thing. And then we got this blackberry, um, blackberry lemonade. We ended up going to Walmart, but I was not about to vlog in there because Walmart on a Monday is not it. So we just got like little things. We got drinks. And we got more cookie dough because we used it all, or the rest of it, I should say, when we did our first Vlogmas video. And we got lemonade and milk, just like little basic stuff that we are going to use for the week. And we also got a few packages, some from Amazon. And then I bought some shoes for a Black Friday sale. shoes and they're like a whole size and a half too big look why are they, why are they too big i don't know they're at eight i think in women's oh they're men's but on the website it shows like a woman's foot like on the picture it doesn't say women's on there. it doesn't say men or women's it just says Adidas Stan Smith. But it, on the picture, it has a woman with the shoe on. So it just says size eight. Yeah. Great. From Amazon, I got these um, curtain holders because we have our curtains right here, as you can see, but we don't have curtain holders for when we move them. And these are magnetic. You literally just stick them. And then this package I have right here uh, is for the bedroom. So that's why I'm in here opening it. I got like a bed, no, a bed, what is it, a comforter? A duvet. Apparently, the comforter we had before is a king slash cow king. Right here, it, the blanket under here fits way longer than the other one. We don't have a bed skirt because I don't like any of the ones that I've found so far, so I, I still need to look for one. But it is way longer than this one, so I'm gonna have to get another one. It looks plush and comfortable, so I'm glad that I did pick this one. Now I just know I need to get it in a different size. That way it fits. We are starting off today in the car. I'm letting it kind of warm up a little bit before I take off. But I'm going to go get my eyelash extensions removed to just have another little break. I got them removed, I wanna say like two or three fills ago. But I want to take them off because I usually, what I do is I get the packages that they have. I go to Canny Beauty Lashes, by the way, in Rosemead. I still go to the same place. But I get the package deal so you get five fills with your package and then you don't have to pay until your five fills are up. Since my package is done, I figured might as well just go ahead and remove them for a little bit. And then I want to try strip lashes again because I bought some from Lily Lashes for their Black Friday sub Cyber Monday deal. I bought some from there for the first time and I wanna try them out, so I'm gonna go get these removed and go back to using strip lashes. But I gotta have you around me cause I do it all over my body. Candy, sequeando, llorando. Hacho mami, eso movimiento pa' arriba, pa' abajo, lento, lento. It's seven o'clock, I'm in the dark. I won't do, so I'll never do you. 
I don't think they heard me. I, I. Oh, snap. I thought that somebody was sitting in. Let me show you. I thought somebody was sitting in the passenger seat of this car. You see the hat? But it's not. I'm still scared. I'm like, what if somebody is right there? But no, it's not. It's just a hat on the seat. What if they have it like that so they can get in the carpooling? Because it looks pretty legit. I always feel so strange when I take my lashes off, but they're gone. Lash free, it feels good. I say that every single time I remove my lashes, but it feels really good to have a break once in a while. If you guys get lash extensions, first off, it's not good to have them on for like months on end. You should definitely take a break. So what I do personally is after every like fifth fill, I remove them and I just take a break. So maybe I'll come back to them in like a month or two, maybe, you know, a little bit longer, we'll see. But for right now, it feels really good to be able to just rub my eyes. I've pretty much been working all day today. Once I got home, I started working on some of the content that I had to get done. And so it's already nighttime, but we just got our lamp delivered show you what that looks like we are one of my goals for this week as well hopefully if we're not too stressed out with like packing and then just getting stuff together is to hang up these mirrors in our bedroom because right now we have them just leaning on the nightstand and i would love to hang those up and let me show you what the lamp looks like we were supposed to get the bar stools in today but i got an update from ups i think or fedex that it's delayed or pretty much not gonna get here today i don't think but here's what the lamp looks like i do want to go and get a different light bulb for it though i just really wish we had the ac units that are already built into the ceilings and the floors and everything because i don't like that it's just there it's like the elephant in the room if that wasn't there it would look perfect in this little corner but we ended up going with the black tripod lamp i also was trying to figure out a way to hide the cord because we're not going to be using the ac unit until probably march or so and i want to find a way to kind of hang it so where the curtain covers it or something i don't know but that's what the lamp looks like i think it fits really well i'm gonna see how it looks in the daytime but i think for now it looks good i'm like trying to scoot back as much as i can so i can show you i'm really glad we did go with the black legs on it because it matches with the curtain rod but now i can sit in the living room without it being super dark in here should i show you guys a before and after of what our living room looks like before we get the couch I think I should just so I have it for my own record too here's the view from the dining room pretty much so the couch is gonna go there I have to sell these chairs I really don't want to get rid of them but we cannot store them they're just too big and we, we don't know where we would put them so I might have to sell those and then the mirrors behind there I'm gonna sell as well I need to throw those boxes away but here's the view, how it looks before we put the couch in. Okay, this is like the fifth time I changed today, which is kind of normal when I'm shooting content, but I went to Target and of course got more than anticipated. And I also went to get myself some Chipotle cause I have not ate since earlier. I ended up, okay, so a lot of people were recommending for me to get this blonde roast iced coffee from starbucks so that's what i got i do get the medium roast but a lot of people are saying that the blonde is really good and i also got a full size they finally had it in stock got pineapple juice because darius loves pineapple juice i want us to do a little like homemade cookie vlog so from scratch making cookies so i ended up getting this cookie cutter set it has like little trees snowflakes gingerbread mats it was like nine dollars it was on sale i think i also got this right here which i thought was super cute to add there's like a little lint right there to add to the office on the shelves this is a cookbook from joanne joanna joanne Gaines. i don't know if i'm gonna actually cook any recipes from in here but i mainly got it because i liked the way that the book looked and i'm gonna put it on the shelves picture frame for the shelves slow cooker liners and then just plastic wrap that's everything i got i am going to put the stuff on the shelves right now once i finish eating i'm just 
super hungry and I'm not about to do that first before eating. Ow. We're also finally getting a rug for underneath the dining table because our dining table, if you guys have noticed, is kind of not the same color as the flooring. It's a little bit darker, but it's the same tone, the same color palette. And I want to break it up that way. I don't know, because I feel like it's looking a little bit weird. Let me show you real quick. But you can kind of see it's a similar tone. So I want to put a lighter carpet to kind of break it up. And then it's kind of plain. I was kind of contemplating on if I should keep a centerpiece in the middle, or if I should just leave it as is, because it looks pretty simple to me on this side of the apartment like the dining room or maybe you know what's missing something on the wall that's what's missing something needs to go up there that's what's missing we are headed to our favorite breakfast place there's traffic it's raining and yeah but it's couch delivery day so we are supposed to get it for our couch later on today hopefully it all goes well if the rain isn't you know too bad but we're headed there to breakfast. It's already pretty late. We were supposed to come early, but we were up watching Breaking Bad till like two. Or else up till no, you were up two. I fell asleep. It was like two something. The couch is here. They're about to bring it up right now. And I already moved stuff around in here. I'll show you guys after, but I moved the chairs out of the way. That way they can easily put it right here. Here's a look at the couch. We kind of set it up a little bit. The size is perfect. The size is perfect. It fits perfectly in the living room and it goes with everything, which we love. What we're gonna do, so you see how like right here there's only a little bit of space. What we're gonna do when we have people over is we're gonna switch the corner piece and this piece. This piece will go long way, so this will extend more this way and it'll be super long on this side and then we'll just have the corner piece and it'll give us a lot more room to go in and out of the patio, but we're only gonna do that when we have guests and people over, if we have gatherings or whatever. But for just right now, we're gonna leave it like this. It fits perfectly and we haven't used the patio since we've been here because it's been rainy and cold anyway, but in the summertime, if we want to be in and out of there, we can always just move these pieces. The good thing about this couch is these pieces aren't connected. Originally, they were supposed to be, but I don't think they were going to fit through the hallways and stuff. So we ended up having them cut the pieces so that the corner piece was by itself. This is one piece and then this is one piece. So now what we can do is we can always separate everything and kind of make it our own. We can put these two pieces on the sides if we want to and then do that one in the corner or put this one in this corner and move that out of the way like we can really customize this section all let me pull it so you guys can see what i'm talking about see like how i'm able to pull it and i can separate this side and make it different or i can separate all three so we're able to move it around that's the good thing it doesn't have to stay like this the material i'll put the details below exactly like what color the material, this material is supposed to be super easy to clean, which is why I picked this one. And you can see it's not like suede, it's like more of a rough textured material, which I also liked because I'm trying to add more texture. I didn't want it to be like a silk, not a silk, a suede or anything like that. I wanted it to have a little bit of roughness to it. And then obviously once we sit on it and stuff, it's gonna get more comfortable and more lived in. And then we can always add other pillows in between or we can remove those and add smaller pillows or just leave it as is. We are making progress. So these are the bar stools. And on top of that, 
I hate the lighting in the living room, by the way. I mean, in the, in the hallway. On top of that, we got the mirrors mounted. He mounted them a little bit higher than I wanted. Either way, as long as they're up on the wall, then it's fine. Um, and then we have to take this little sticker off up here. But I love the mirrors. The mirrors are from Ikea, by the way. Overall, though, it's really starting to come together. I don't think I want to put anything up there. I kind of want to leave it blank because there's already kind of a lot going on. Vlogmas is basically me coming on camera and looking crazy for 25 days in a row. But we're already at Thursday, which is insane. We're leaving to Texas tomorrow, which is... It came by so quickly. I haven't even started packing. I started sorting some stuff out, like putting stuff when I was doing laundry. I'll just put it on the side. Like, okay, I think I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. So right now, I'm going to make myself my coffee. I'm trying out the blonde roast. Finally, I didn't get to try it out yesterday. It just sucks that we're going to have to leave to Texas and not even get to put this to full use until we uh, get back. I just put this throw blanket on here. I think I got this at TJ Maxx. And then I want to put something in the center. I didn't even show the bar stools. These are the bar stools that we chose. I saw some like this. Why is my phone always going off when I'm filming? I just put them right here so you can see them. But the ones from Marshalls were just a little bit shorter. And this bar top is pretty high. It's not like the same size as the table. As you can see, the table's a little bit lower. So these chairs are a little bit lower. But now that we have these, I kind of wish we had the matching chairs for the table. I don't know if it's just me. I still wanna paint the legs on this black. Maybe that'll make a difference. And it'll make it look a little bit more like it matches. I think having the matching chairs all around would look really nice. But then is that doing too much? Like should I just keep these? And then paint the legs black. Mm. That's the dilemma I'm kind of facing right now. Anyways, let's get some coffee. This is also something I've been doing recently. I got it from Amy Macedo. So during the day, we do not leave any dishes in the sink. Every time we use a dish, we put it in the dishwasher. That way this, the sink stays empty throughout the day. And if we need to wash something quickly, we obviously can use the sink still. But instead of putting it in there, we put it in here. And then at the end of the night, I do just one large load dishwasher load of all of the dishes that way the kitchen stays clean and then we wake up with clean fresh dishes it just makes it so much easier and it's kind of like a little clean home hack but i love it when i saw her do that i was like that is so that's like perfect especially if you don't like doing dishes but just in general if you like having a clean kitchen and you have a dishwasher it's very convenient to just put everything in here during throughout the day and then put it to wash right before going to bed and then you wake up with a clean kitchen and clean dishes Coffee's good. I don't know if it was last night or the night before that. I was like craving a really cold iced coffee and I wanted to get up and make one so bad. But I was scared that it was gonna make me not sleep. A lot of people say like coffee and caffeine gives them a lot of like energy. But for me, I don't know if it's just me. Me and Darius were talking about this yesterday, but I don't feel like it gives me energy or it wakes me up. I just love the taste of coffee that's it i don't find that it does all these wonders for me or that it sometimes it does make me jittery i'm not gonna lie but it doesn't necessarily give me a bunch of energy or it doesn't make me stay up later i don't know maybe my body's just weird but i don't feel it anyways what do we have to do today today i didn't get to film all of the content i wanted to get done yesterday and i have a few deadlines that i need to meet by tomorrow so i need to get that done so it's gonna be a work day today. Darius has today off, which I don't like to film and edit and stuff when he has the day off because it's very rare that he has like a full day off and today he has a full day off. But I need to get some work done and then tomorrow we leave. So I'm not gonna be able to get a lot of that stuff done. That's pretty much what today is going to be like. Maybe some packing, maybe go to Home Goods. I've been itching, you guys know I've been itching to go to Home Goods ever since they put this damn couch up. Like, <laughs> I 
as soon as I put it in, I was like, okay, I want to go to Home Goods, but I, I definitely had to hold back. I was tempted to go last night, but mm -mm. it's funny too because before me and Darius, when we didn't live together and we would go on trips, we would get so excited because we would have, we'd finally be able to be together for more than a few hours. We would be able to sleep together and stuff. And now that we live together, we just want to be home on our new couch and our bed just here at home and when we were booking the trip because we were we were originally going to go from friday to sunday but it's less expensive to come back on monday so we were like do we really have to come back on monday like we want to come back on sunday but we had to book it we come back monday early anyway but still it's funny how that works now we just want to be home now that we're together now that we live together let me get off camera though because i look <laughs> Like I need to get it together. Finally on here with my hair actually combed and a little bit of makeup on. I just finished filming my gift guide video and the living room is a mess. I'm gonna be in here for a while cleaning, packing, getting it together. Let me show you the living room so you can see what I'm working with. I don't wanna show too much because you guys gotta watch my gift guide video when it goes up. I'm gonna get to cleaning all of this before Darius gets here. That way when he gets here, we can maybe grab lunch and then get ready to start packing. A year later, and I'm finally getting, <laughs> I'm finally getting one of the, this is Darius's team, his basketball team. These are nice. I don't know if I told you guys, but we're going to Texas for a tournament for his team. Here, put this on. Put, yeah, it's going to Put that on. I want to see you. Mm -mm, you got to see it in Texas. My bag is already basically packed for what get their socks they have pairs of white socks black socks and gray socks i'm taking basic stuff just a few sweaters a few long sleeves our speaker of course some beanies in case it gets really cold it shouldn't be but just in case keeping it simple not doing too much because the trip we're literally just going to be in the gym it's not going to be like a vacation <laughs> type of trip so just basically staying comfortable it is travel day we are pretty much completely packed that's his bag this is mine i just have to put my electronic stuff in the bag i wanted to show you guys the makeup that i'm taking because i'm not taking much so this is great for if you're like a light traveler. So I'm taking a contour stick, some concealer, foundations, my hourglass stick, my Fenty hydrating, and then my Huda Beauty. I really don't need to take three, but I like taking extra foundations. I have a primer, it cosmetics primer right there. I need to clean this, it's all dirty. My mini Caudalie course and I have some eyelash glue because I don't have my eyelash extension so I'm taking a few lashes I have Laura Mercier translucent powder my NARS blush duo in frenzy the milk makeup hydra blur no this is not the hydra blur this is the flex highlighter Mac give me sun and then my Sephora micro smooth powder my Sephora blush duo this one it's a little bit too bright there you go this blush this blush duo lashes i'm taking kiss page boy and the ardell 421s patrick paw lip cream dose of colors liquid lipstick and knock on wood kkw radiate lip gloss kkw nude 2.5 lipstick and then liquid lipstick and then mascara i am gonna go get my nails done right now because i need to really bad brushes i'm only taking a few so i'm only taking my morphe m310 m432 my 439 this it cosmetics i don't even it doesn't have a name but i'm taking this my elf sponge my hourglass double-sided brush i love using this for powder and then for 
uh, sorry, for setting powder underneath my eyes and then for setting the rest of my face. The M504 and the M530. And this is my Japanese brush that I use for my blush. I have them on this napkin because I just, <clears throat> excuse me, I just washed them. So now I'm going to put them in here. This is literally the perfect case for everyday trap like a small travel trip like this but i've also jam-packed this enough for like a longer five this five six day trip as well so it's very universal i think i got it on amazon i'll link it below for you guys huh oh yeah 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 i need to get them thank you for reminding me there everything is packed yeah yeah my beats are right here okay my toes are done i ended up getting them done and then my hands i did like this really nice if it would focus you can barely tell but it has like a glittery hint to it i have to get like super up close it's opi stop it i'm blushing and then on top i just had her put a light layer of glitter i came on here to let you guys um to let you guys know to show you i need to stop talking so fast to show you send me shoes i got so we went to dick's to go look for some stuff to take for the trip because we're last minute people like that and i found this really nice nike like pullover it's super warm on the inside i'll try to find a link for it it's like a thermal and of course it's like a creamy beige color and then it has the nike sign so i'm gonna take this and then wear some leggings and then probably wear these got these at dicks these are the what do they say nike flex runners and i like them because they don't have laces they're just like a slip-on shoe and i was looking for something like these remember how <laughs> I got a pair of shoes from ASOS. I got the Adidas Stan Smiths, the all white. These are just like a classic pair of white shoes. And I finally got the right size. They just came in. This is pretty much the current status. And we are leaving in about 30, 45 minutes. And I gotta pack all this stuff up and then get myself ready too. My last little cup of iced coffee before we leave. I just realized I don't think I've even shown my face today on here. Good morning. Hi. So yes, this is the current situation right now. I just have to, the bag is pretty much packed. I just have to figure out what I'm going to wear right now. So let's do a quick little um, get ready sesh. Texas. He's already getting the stuff ready for tomorrow. It's what time is it? It's 11:55 here in Texas, and then at home it's 9:55. So it's already pretty late, anyways. So we're looking for somewhere to get food. Cindy's like, "Do you guys want to go to Shake Shack?" She asked you right now. <laughs> yeah. It's closed. <laughs> this is where me and Darius came. This was the first time we ever stood together alone. Mandary was playing. She didn't want to go at first. No, okay. Don't get to storytelling. Okay, what's your side then? He swears I'm that sorry, he sorry, was inviting me. Once you forgot the Disneyland trip. No. Yeah, so our first trip, this is our first trip ever together. Last year, literally. Same weekend. And like a week or two, no, probably like two weeks before, he was telling me, oh yeah, we're going to San Antonio for a trip for basketball, whatever. 
and he she told lying, me yo. he told me like no she's lying she she he told me like three times she, are they knocking Okay, so what's your side of the story? So we came here a year ago and he, I want to say, I don't know, like a few weeks before, not even a few weeks, probably like a, a week or a few days before, he was like, yeah. you stop, oh my god, okay, a few it weeks, was, don't do that, okay, it was a few weeks, yeah, it was like two weeks, and he two, was, weeks. he was like, oh, I'm going to Texas with my team, like, and I was like, oh, that's cool, like, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, the next time I would see him, he would be like, oh, yeah, we're going to Texas with the team. Like, he was trying to hint at me. For me uh, to be actually, like, uh, actually, oh, y'all. like, can I go? Like, were you expecting me to invite myself? I uh, asked to go, yo. No, he didn't ask me. And then he was beating on the bush. And then he finally was like, I invited you like three times and I'm like, no, you didn't. You told me you were going, but you didn't invite me. She knew what I was saying, y'all. I did. (laughs) But I wasn't about to be like, oh, I want to go. And then he finally invited me and then we came. (sighs) She was playing games, y'all. Yeah, it was our first trip together. Mm -hmm. And here we are a year later. Mm-hmm. On the same trip. On the same trip. Mm-hmm. Same hotel. Same everything. Mm-hmm. Babe's still playing too. <laughs> Woo. This weekend I probably, like to, obviously not today, but tomorrow and Sunday I'm not really going to vlog a lot because the rest of the weekend is going to be with the kids. We can do the river walk. Yeah, we can do the river walk and all that, but we can't really do. <laughs> it is the last day of this vlog mess. This is the last day I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. It's gonna be um, more chill. We're not gonna do much. We're just gonna be at the gym. So just vlogging a little bit today. We're heading to the river walk right now. Uh, last time we came to Texas, we didn't get to go. So we're gonna go see what's over there. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> 